Three fifty nine. Take two, Mark. Everybody settling. Be still and action. Tracy, there's a blizzard coming. I'll be closing my office after my next appointment. My brother's been gone for two days. I saw it in the newspaper. I'm very sorry. I gotta find my brother. I'm certain that your parents and the police are doing everything that they can. No, they're not. Let's schedule an appointment immediately after the blizzard. No, no, no. No, I, I can't wait till after the blizzard. I need you to help me now. Tracy, I can't help you find your brother. That's not my job. Go home and see your family. This is a very important time for family. You need to love and support one another. Do you live in a condominium? I live in a home. How many? I, I live in a house. How many people live in your house? Because I was thinking that maybe I could run a room, and then when we find Sonny, him and I can, can come and live with you. Tracy, I have a client coming. Well, you know, maybe, maybe you'd like the company. That's something that we can discuss at our next appointment. When is our next appointment? No, no, seriously, think of, you know, you'd come home from work and there'd be somebody there and... Oh, Sonny, he's no, no problem at all. I mean, he doesn't even talk, so... Tracy, you cannot come home with me. Why not? Well, for one thing, there are rules. Well, I'm not gonna go tell on anyone. Why don't you go home? Because I'm insane. And you know what that means. Well, not, not exactly. What surprises me, it means I should be locked up. Well, that's something that we can discuss at your next appointment. I don't think I can wait till my next appointment. Go home, Tracy. I can't go home if I'm insane. Talk to your parents. Contrary to what you may assume, your feelings may be a comfort to them. They want to know how this is affecting you. What did you say? Nothing. I'm just really worried that I'm going insane. Well, if you're worried, go to the hospital. Will they put the nut bars? If you like. Will you come visit me? Of course. Will I be locked up forever, like jail or something? They'll just evaluate you and probably release you the same day. Why don't you contact them? They'll, they'll simply evaluate you and probably release you the same day. Why don't you contact my service? We'll arrange an emergency appointment for you on Monday. Oh my God, are they going to use shock therapy? You know, electricity up and down my body like in Frankenstein? I read about it in a magazine. What magazine? It doesn't matter. The point is, is that they do it and you can't let them because I can't forget. I can't forget anything. Forget what? You know. You know because you can see in my brain. That's why they pay you the big bucks. Please. Tracy. Sometimes we think too much. Sometimes thinking too much is our own worst enemy. Go home, watch TV, be with your family, and wait for news, and I'm certain it will be good news. Tracy, I want you to understand that your recovery is ultimately your responsibility. I could leave tomorrow, and another therapist could take my place. What other therapist? There is no other therapist. I simply want you to know that your recovery is ultimately your responsibility. Are you going to stop seeing me? I never said that. Yeah, 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 you did. You just said something about another therapist. But you, you know what? I'll leave first. You'll see. Well, if that's the case, we could arrange another appointment and discuss it then. Would you like to make another appointment? I've got an appointment.
I'm sorry, I let this go on far longer than is appropriate. I'm sorry that I haven't seen you, but you must understand that I have a client waiting outside. Of course you have another fucking client. What was that? Nothing. I was just kidding. You're on. It's okay to express your anger. Oh, you know about anger, you cunt. You fucking stupid robot cunt! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really, really, really sorry. Look, I just, I can't go. I can't go until I know right now that you're not gonna just send me to somebody else. That was never my intention. You're a liar. And why would I want to see a psychiatrist who's a big fat liar anyway? Should you wish to speak to someone else, talk to your parents. I confer with them myself. Tracy.